Hi guys, I'm Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And today we are gonna be playing with this new trend. How we prove your button here? Absolutely awesome way to achieving a nice nail art, and I hope you really like to watch this tutorial. So let's start. Yeah, guys. So that's the designs. Like, and you will become addicted to it. Like this technique is absolutely insane and amazing. And um, when I actually done the roses, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm genius. <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> this is so cool. So what you would do on the client's nails, you would just finish them and then paint them white, apply matte top coat or just buff uh, them and then grab the Sharpie and just do a couple crosses like a stars or something. Completely random. I'm kind of placing them a little bit more on the bottom. Uh, and then grab another Sharpie. This time we are going to go for blue color and I'm just squeezing more stars in there. You know, everyone can do it, like really everyone can do it. I would say this is the most beginner new art. I think child could, child could do it really. And then grab some green and in those empty spaces just do a couple like um, either lines or a dot, like look whatever, I'm doing some dots and I'm doing some lines as well. Okay, and then I've got my watercolor brush in here and you also want a drop of the blue scrap. So I'm just squeezing out a drop of the blue scrap, placing it on my mixing palette. And then you want to bring in those blue scrap on each star you have painted. I am kind of doing it random. So bring in a small drop. Now the blue scrap is drying, so I have to introduce more of it. And in some places you could see it, like I splash it far more than in other places. Then grab more and just touch up those leaves. Okay, so basically you just bring in the drop of the blue scrap and <laughs> the magic is happening on the nail. Like literally it took us like no time to create this design. Uh, then using the white French gel and a D-liner brush, I'm gonna slap a couple dots in there. So inside each flower, I'm just painting a small tiny wee dot. And they look magic, like cook it. <laughs> so that was one of the first ones I have tried. And then I thought like, um, okay, I will go and do it. I'm gonna do one more time, like just a different placement. So this time I will maybe try to do it more from the top. Let's do it from the top. So I'm just gonna fill out all this triangle here. And you can do different colors. You could do it in a one color or you could do it in all sorts of different colors. Let's try pink, I've got it there. So pink and blue will look definitely super cool. Okay, okay. That's me happy with it. Green again. And then we will do two roses. You will see, I mean, the entire video will take like, I don't know, five, seven minutes with my talking <laughs> and excitement. Okay, blue scrap again. So I've got a drop of the blue scrap in here. My watercolor brush. And here we go again. Let the magic happen. And a watercolor brush is just a perfect uh, for it because it has a brilliant size to bring in not too much, but just enough of those um, blue scrap. Okay, and then touch up my lips. That's enough. Grab the dotting, uh, the D-liner brush. You could do it with the dotting tool as well, but I think because the flowers are so small, the um, D-liner brush is better. Actually, we have created some dots on its own, so you could probably even skip the dot part. Like, I think it still looks pretty cool. Like a watercolor art, but done with the Sharpies. Now, here my blue scrap didn't dry yet, so I cannot paint it. Let me pick up the fresh scoop. It should be dry now. There we are. Perfect. Let's cure it. And then we can top coat those two designs. 
And I have used Sharpies or marker pens before on new art and um, I had to wait always quite a long time for it to dry, uh, to don't smudge it. What I have noticed it is because the blue scrap is diluting it, I feel like they are drying instantly and you cannot smudge them. And this is a bonus, like a huge bonus to this design because um, you have no time to wait, like, you know, uh, for them to dry it. But look what a magic you can create. Like, you know, imagine like adding a tiny bit of glitter around it or like marble on one side and then this on the side. I think if you want, guys, I could come up with other different ideas, a little bit more advanced on this technique because I think it's absolutely insane. Now, here I'm going to go with uh, darker Sharpie. So try to pick up like a darker, darkest color you've got. And what you want to do is you want to paint like a swirly bit and then another swirl and another swirl. Okay, once you have done those swirls, pick up a large, lighter shade of your Sharpie and do another round on the swirls. This is fantastic. And then you want to introduce some green. So in those empty spaces, you want to just slap a little bit of green here and there. And you can do lines, you can do dots, whatever. You just want to bring a tiny bit of the color in there. Again, grab my blue scrap and the watercolor brush. And the same movements you have done with the Sharpies, which is a swirl, you are just going over it with the swirl motion. Okay, nice swirly motion. We've got the first one done. Nice swirly motion. Even if your brush flicks like it did on mine, it is absolutely fine. You just want to do a swirl. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush. So just grab the wipe. Because I've got so much purple in it now and pink. Bring in more blue scrap and then you want to touch your leaves. So basically I'm touching them with the blue scrap and the magic is happening again. Absolutely amazing. It's cool. D-liner brush and now because we have done purple in here and it's a pretty dark like uh, color, I don't want to all time with white. It will look extremely fake. I will show you these roses again because they work every single time. Like I was, uh, I was insane like <laughs> when I did like when I start playing with it. And then what you can do it is you can just outline it and some, you could leave it the way it is, but I just like to give it an extra, extra think, extra touch to it. And uh, here we are, just in some places, I'm painting like a very irregular. Shape. I hope guys, you will really try this technique and I will show you on one more tip. And if you do, you can tag me. I will be really happy to see what you came up with. We've got also those group on Facebook as well, where you could all share your ideas of uh, Sharpie Aquarelle. I think that's how we should call it. This one is so nice. Okay something where the leaves are just a uh, touches and i like how they turn it out of those leaves like really nice and wiggly perfect give it like a flash cure so a couple seconds the other tips are ready as well i can show you them and then we can paint another roses here. So again, I'm just going to do it at, uh, now much slower and I will place it here. So I want one rose in here, one in there and one in there. I will bring in an extra color. So that is purple. And then I want it pink as well. Just go around it. Green. And I'm going to do it with lines now, actually, to see it. 
what we can get out of the lines. <laughs> okay, let's bring the blue scrap. So just squeeze out a pump of it and then we are gonna smudge the leaves. So I'm just bringing in those blue scrap and then our roses two movements, three movements of the brush and we've got another set of the roses happening in here. Then the D-liner brush. I think the magic is still happening in there. Like the longer you wait, the Yes, this is happening. Look what is happening like with this rose on the side and here. It's kind of show, start showing more and more. So does this one there. So I just want to kind of do a light touches. Like do not overdo it because otherwise there is no point of this technique. Like, you know, if we overdo it with the outline. So that's it on this one. And then clean the brush, go for the white so we can add some detail in the leaf. But you could probably leave it without of detail as well. Like a really beautiful watercolor sharp in your art. And that gives me another idea. So this stuff which is happening here on the sides gives me another idea like you could actually paint some sort of um, tulle material with it. Yes, absolutely. You could paint like a tulle material with it. Um, absolutely amazing in here. Okay, let's cook this one, apply the top coat and basically that's that's our design designs finished like and they look so pretty and so amazing. When we apply the top coat they become even uh, more vibrant and more beautiful. Very simple to do it. Okay, and then apply the top coat on this one and then I can show you the results we have achieved with this technique. I love them like I don't know why I didn't done it before. Um, so yeah, I had to try those roses. <clears throat> so we've got those ones. So many pretty, pretty designs like, and you definitely can become addicted to it. Like you could try to do marbles with it, lines, like so many different things. So let me know guys, if you want me to do more of this technique. Um, but those roses, they look like so time consuming, like an artist would paint them. Like, look at this, it's, it's crazy. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you have really enjoyed it. If you did, hit the share button as well. I'm sending you huge glittery hacks and see you in the next video.